hey lovelies welcome back to my channel i hope you're lying good health and doing fine so today's video is a continuation of my last video where i showed you guys the basic tools you need for your everyday basic makeup and i actually showed you guys how to use those tools in this video just so you know this is a very detailed and long video but if you really want to learn how to do a basic makeup i suggest you keep watching till the end okay guys all right so first i'm going to be starting with my primer okay this is smash boss cosmetics um, photo finish primer so i'll just take a teeny weeny of this primer you can see so I'm just gonna rub it in and then apply it on my T-zone, the bridge of my nose, my under eyes, and my chin. All those places you feel okay, I can be oily on these places. Those are the places you need to apply your primer on. So you just apply and rub it in. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start, you know, doing my brows so first of all i'm gonna carve it out so i use the spoolie to brush up my brows so carving out of brows and doing the whole brows takes lots of time which is why you usually see um makeup artists skip that part anytime they are doing making videos because it takes a lot of time so but for the sake of this video i'm going to show it so you just slightly okay from where your brows ended or from where it started so you just slightly carve out carve out your uh using your brow pencil carve out the brow lines And then you start from up and repeat the same process. So usually I use um, brow powder to fill in my brows. I use a brow powder. But because of this video, I'm going to use my uh, brow pencil because if you don't know how to use that brow powder, it's going to be difficult for you. So, but with this, you can just go ahead and, you know, give, put, be putting strokes using the brow pencil. Just be stroking your brows, fill it in, filling in, filling it in, okay, with the strokes of the brow pencil. Just be filling in your brows. So the idea is to fill it in and make it look, you know, dark and nice as if it's how it came, like you're born that way. So you keep filling it in. Okay, now you can see that this is already looking nice. So you can use the spoolie to brush out the tip, fade it out a little bit, and make it look like you're born this way. So by the time you clean it up, everything will be looking very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow off camera just to save time. So guys, I went ahead and cleaned up this brow, arranged it. And now, just to save time, and now I'm gonna go ahead to do this one. So I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, the one I showed you before. That's what I'm using. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place a little on my the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna start cleaning up my brows. So I'll be using the little brush that has the spoolie. I'm going to take concealer from the brush and then I'm going to start carving 
out. I'm going to use one of the blending brushes that I showed you guys before and I'm going to use it to blend out this concealer it's now that I'm done cleaning up my brows I'm going to go ahead and start applying my eyeshadow but first I'm going to prime my eyeshadow eyes with um, eye primer eyeshadow primer and I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer i didn't show you guys before because this is totally optional you can actually use only concealer for priming your eyes or you can go in with this one first then concealer before applying your eyeshadow that way it will make your eyeshadow pop very well so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my eyes and then i'm gonna blend it out So this will add like a base for your eyeshadow. If you feel my eyes now, you see that it's a bit sticky. You might not feel it because you're not here, but looking at it, you know that it's now a bit sticky or tacky as you may call it. So that's the importance of eyeshadow primer yes, now that i've applied that um, eyeshadow base i'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer and i'm just gonna just drop a little um concealer on your eyes and then blend it out i'm gonna be using this fluffy brush that i showed you guys before and i'm gonna tap 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 so with this you don't want to wipe if you wipe it's as if you're wiping off um the product of your eyes so all you need to do is just tap it tap 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 and circulate the whole product where you want it and that is it this is the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna be using today like i told you before or like i showed you this is the eyeshadow this is the Glam Light Masterpiece Eyeshadow and these are the beautiful shades it's about 16 shades in here on the palette so this is what it looks like so what we're gonna do since it's a basic makeup okay we're gonna look for a transi transitional shade and when you're looking for a transitional shade you want a shade that is very close to your um, skin color so what I'm gonna be using in this shade is this which is sunrise so I'm gonna be using the same fluffy brush that I used before and I'm gonna take sunrise and I'm gonna start applying on the whole of my crease so I'm gonna apply sunrise so now I'm done applying this um, sunrise okay as a transitional uh, shade but I'm gonna add some depth into the eyes you know to make it look more like an eyeshadow to make it look just to have some depth so I'm gonna be going in with this um, shade melanin and I'm using the small fluffy brush that I showed you before. This one is from Sigma. So I'm going to be taking melanin. And I'm going to start just from the outer corner of my eyes. See? And I'll be blending in a circular motion. 
just to add a little depth to the eyes so I'm going to take it a little up just like so now the next shade we're going to go in with is peachy this neutral shade right here so I'm going to take peachy I'm going to pack it right here on my lid and I'm using the packing brush that I showed you guys before from Sigma so you guys should remember that when you're making up the key to a perfect foundation or eyeshadow is in blending you have to blend and blend and blend until your hand hurts really it's very important to blend this eyeshadow is very pigmented guys it's just packing on nicely and blending out smoothly very pigmented so now that we've packed that in we're going to use the same precision brush that we used to pack this um, shade melanin shade in i'm going to take a little melanin and then blend it in together with this peachy just so it seems seamless and beautiful and nice we're gonna um, use the same brush the blending brush that we used to put on the sunrise we're gonna use it and take sunrise again a bit of sunrise which is this so we're gonna use it and blend out any harsh lines from here From this dark shade, we're going to use it to blend out any harsh lines there. So like I said before, blending is important. You have to blend until everything is very, very nice and seamless. This is a point where if you want to add some shimmers or glitters to your face, you can go, go ahead and choose these shimmers or the shimmers here and add to your face. There are a bunch of them here. This is shimmer. This, 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 this. Okay. But I don't want to add any shimmer. I think I'm going to leave it at matte, just the way it is. Okay. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same packing brush and take this white shade, which is Tress Liches. This, Tress Liches. I'm going to take a little of it. And I'm going to use it to highlight my brow bone. So now I'm going to go ahead and line my lid using my liquid uh, eyeliner from Morphe. So I'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other eyes and that will be the other eye that will be right back guys now that I'm done with that for my lashes I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara okay I showed you guys before so I'm gonna go ahead and I've already applied on this one I'm gonna go ahead and apply it quickly on this eye I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes okay these are the beautiful lashes that I got from Chimwe Dream Vlog Chimwe Dreams Vlog they are so beautiful they look really nice let me use the tweezers and show you guys how it's looking so since it's a new lashes you want to bring it out from the packet and you know use your hand to twiggle it yeah if there's anything any word like that i don't know what i think <laughs> so that it will be very flexible because it's usually stiff 
when you bring it out so you want to do this and make it very flexible okay then you go ahead and apply your glue so i'm using the dough eyelash glue this is the glue i use for my lashes and i'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the lashes just very thinly enough enough to hold the lashes i'm making a mess so you want to put it on the lash line just like so not so much just enough to hold it and then you have to leave it for a few seconds so that it will be tacky you don't just go ahead to put it now no you have to let it to be tacky so that once you put it on your eyes it will stick if not it's gonna make a mess of your whole eyeshadow now the lashes the glue is a bit tacky okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes so i'm gonna start like this you don't want to go like this no you want to raise your hand up and measure your lash line and the lashes and place them when you place it you just hold it there a bit then come to this end and adjust it and come to the next end and adjust it where you want it to be okay then you want to use your tweezer to clip both your real lashes and the false lashes together This is why some people prefer to do it you know off camera because sometimes it can be difficult to apply I have my this now when you're done doing that you just have to use your either use your tweezer to just raise the lashes up because you don't want a A sleepy eye or sleepy eyes and you are good to go guys after applying the lashes you always want to go back with your eye eyeliner and you know run it through your the, the 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 last line where you apply that glue because if you don't do this that place may turn white when it dries up so you just have to use your eyeliner and go through it so that everything will be black see so I'm gonna start applying my foundation for my face. And I'm gonna be using the Long Content I Do Ultra Wear Foundation. So I'm gonna be pressing it in on my on the back of my hand. So either you do this or you press it in on the brush and then apply straight. So but I prefer to do this. I'm gonna tap this whole foundation on my face so you guys should remember that I've already primed my face with my Smashbox um, photo finish primer before I'm gonna be using my brush this is Zoeva foundation brush I'm gonna use it to blend out the whole foundation now my face is coming out gradually <laughs> so when it comes to foundation and concealer you must try to buy your shade if you don't buy your shade you're on a long thing if you don't buy your shade oh my goodness <laughs> when you're trying to do a makeup you just run 
you'll be like what is all this you know that's why people give up easily in make, doing makeup because maybe they don't buy their shades or they end up not blending it very well and they'll be like i don't like making up or i don't like, know how to do it so i just leave it but you just have to keep practicing if you really want to do it so i'm using my juvia's place foundation and this is in the shade 13 i use it a billion times so i'm gonna just go ahead and tap in just little by little on my face all the places i feel that i need to conceal and i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out so i'll be using my brush the concealer brush that i showed you guys before so you guys should notice that all the brushes i've been using are the few brushes that i showed you guys i've not i've not used any other brush just so you know so i'll just blend this out and i'll be right back i'm gonna be contouring with my stila cosmetics shape and shade in the shade deep and this is the one i'm gonna be using this black one so I'll be using that packing brush from the from Sigma, the one I used to apply my uh, eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using it to apply this uh, contour. Now you see what that contour did you just now, just right now. It has shaped my chin and make it smaller that was what i was trying to tell you guys about so here you just apply on the bridge of your nose so now i'm gonna be using my contouring brush to blend so i want to start blending upwards So I'm going to be using my foundation brush, okay? I'm going to use it to blend out all the harsh lines from the concealer to the foundation to the contour. Every harsh line. So you have to blend and blend until everything looks flawless. Or almost flawless at least. <laughs> so the next step now is to bake. I'm going to be baking with my Huda Beauty uh, baking powder this is in the shade cinnamon bun first i'm going to use it to set my whole face then i'm going to bake my under eyes with it so using this powder and the brush in it i'm just going to use it to set my whole face so that everything will remain matte and nice all those places i apply the concealer you have to set so now I'm going to be using my beauty blender to <coughs> highlight my under eyes. And this is my beauty blender. So I'm going to just take, use it to take the product. Then I'm going to start pressing it in under my eyes. So I usually like to use the Juvia's Place Kalahari which is almost um, yellow in color but I'm just using this one for the sake of this video because if you're doing a basic makeup you don't need too many powders. So after doing that I'm gonna go ahead and press this you know bake my face just leaving some powders on my face under my eyes and then 
I'm gonna use it to highlight here. Is why I uh, wait for the face to bake. I'm gonna use go ahead and do my under eyes and my waterline. So for my waterline, I'll be using this coffee and kiss colored pencil from Morphe. So I'm gonna use it to line my waterline. Now for my under eyes, I'm gonna be going in with this shade Melanin, which was the first shade we went in before. And this is the packing brush that I used. So I'm gonna use it to take Melanin. Now I'm gonna start applying it, excuse me, from the outer corner of my eyes. So the second shade I'm gonna put under my eyes is the peachy. Peachy, this shade. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place it from the middle of my eyes, from the center to the inner corner. Now I'm gonna use this brush to blend out the whole shade as I'm gonna be applying lashes uh, mascara I'm gonna be applying mascara for my lower lashes so guys now I'm gonna be wiping off the wiping off the powder the baking powder so right now I'm gonna be bronzing my face using my uh, Morphe glamour bronze glamour bronze bronzer so this is what I'm gonna be bronzing with this is glamour bronze bronzer so using my contouring brush I'm gonna be using it also to bronze So we're gonna use it to add some depth color to our face like bringing back our face to life so now to blush i'm gonna be using a shade from this palette to blush maybe i'm gonna be swiping through this um inner beauty and brave heart through the both of them to blush but i'm gonna be using my the same brush the contour brush that i use um this is um totally optional you can use your fingers to do this you can use your beauty blender to do it or you can use this one since we're doing just um basic tools but usually i use my blush brush to do this but i'm gonna be using this one because you can also use it to do it so i'll be swiping through brave Heart and inner beauty wow it's gonna be a lot of color so i'm gonna use it to look at that it's looking so nice i'm gonna use it to blush wow 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 this is this eyeshadow is very pigmented guys just imagine Ooh. So this eyeshadow is very pigmented and it seems like I packed in a lot. So I'm gonna be using my beauty blender to try to you know remove some of this blush huh? or blend it out very well since it doesn't have the blusher product. Look at that. This eyeshadow guys <laughs> eyeshadows from Glam Light, they don't play around. Now I'm going to be highlighting using my Juvia's Place highlighter which looks like this and I'm going to be using the remaining of the fluffy brush because I brought out two 
two fluffy brushes and I've so far I've used only one so I'm gonna be using this one for highlighting so meaning you can use the same brushes you use for eyeshadow to still apply your your highlighter if you are a beginner and you don't really want to break the bank Now for my lips, I'm going to be using this Kissy and Coffee from Morphe. I'm going to use it to line my lips. And then I'm also going to be using the Catrice um, Brow Pencil to also line my lips. So these are the two pencils that I brought out today for lips and eyes. So I'll be using both of them for my lips. So first guys, I'm going to be using the Catrice Brow Pencil which is brown in color and then I'm going to use it to line my lips. Next after that, I'm going to be using the Kissy and Coffee which is this, I showed you guys before. I'm gonna put it on top of that Catrice brow pencil. So, so far, this is what it's looking like, okay? But I'm gonna be using my Glam Light um, lip gloss, and this is in the shade cinnamon roll cinnamon roll i'm gonna be using it to you know run over my lips so guys now i'm gonna be finishing up this loop with my setting spray which is from silky girl so i'm gonna spray it all over to lock in that um, makeup and make it last and i'm gonna go fix up my hair and i'll be right back okay guys And this is our final look guys this is our final look yeah this is the final look for a basic basic super basic makeup tutorial this is the final look i hope you guys like it and i hope you enjoyed watching this video okay so yeah nothing much very easy super easy to achieve you guys saw it step by step so this is the end of this tutorial if you guys um if you guys would like to you know see me do other um makeup tutorials you can suggest it down on my comment section below okay um this is where i say goodbye but before then i will say if you have not subscribed to my channel please this is the right time to do so okay please subscribe to my channel let's be family okay let's take this channel to a greater height don't forget to like and share this video let other people see it there might be other people struggling with um, um makeup or how to start or what to do what they need this video is gonna go a long way to help them so if you really feel like this video helped you in any way please do share it out okay all right but until then i will see you guys on my next video don't forget to watch my other videos here and other videos here so don't forget to subscribe in that um, round picture over there that's where you can click and subscribe anyway
this is the end of it and thank you guys until next time god bless you love you all bye